All right. Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, before I get started, I'd like to start off by giving all praises, honor, and glory to our power, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashem Rakakadash, the ones to the head elders and apostles, a great millstone who rule and teach well. I also want to give a shout out there to the whole elect, to you, Akim, if you are quite who are sincere and it's true, as well as believers in this world, but not just believers, but doers as well. And again, to you, I'd like to say Shalom. All right, this is just another quick lesson through the spirit of power. Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. And Lord willing, this lesson is edifying, man. And you know, as you see the title of this lesson, you know, <laughs> the famine of the word is, you know, is is ahead, man. All right, the famine of the word is ahead. All right, and we have this article here, which I'm not really going to read into the article. So what I'm going to do. Is um put the articles that I um that I get. I'm just gonna read the title and I'm gonna put the articles, the link of the articles in the description box below, and you can check it out for yourself. All right. And here we here's the first one. We got how many Hebrew Israelites are there, and how worried should Jews be? So this article is based off you know the marching of IUIC, man. All right. And um. This article was sent by a brother in the group chat, man. All right. And it's, uh, you know, as you can see, <laughs> the, uh, the Esau is getting worried, man. All right. He's getting worried. All right. <laughs> Again, reading the title, it says, how many Hebrew Israelites are there and how worried should Jews be, man? All right. Which we know the people over there in the land of Israel right now, those are not the real Jews, man. All right, according to the scriptures, man, and according to the curses, as well as the prophecies, man. All right, those are not the true children of Israel at all, man. All right, the imposters, man. All right, but again, this devil, he's he's being shaken up, man. All right, the Lord is making him bear. He's revealing the secrets of this devil. All right, you have Kanye, you know, and his um his interviews revealing. You know, things about this devil, man, and et cetera, et cetera, man. All right. Again, that's why the title of this lesson is the famine of the word is ahead. All right. Moving on to my next article. I have, it says, UK government prosecutors argue parts of, of Bible no longer appropriate in modern society. So here it is, plain as day, man. This devil is going to get ready to come down with great wrath, man. Now he's saying... Parts of the Bible is not appropriate in in the modern day society, man. All right, because really the scriptures uh, it, it condemns the so called white man, man. All right, and it's um and it's proven that this devil he don't go by the scriptures, man. All right, by the way, a sodomy, you know, he letting motherfuckers get off with adultery, you know, et cetera, et cetera, man. Everything here is upside down in this kingdom, man. All right, but see the Lord. It, it, so like a, but see this devil, he's been offended. Alright? He's been offended by the Lord, by the words of Yahweh by Shem Shah, man. Because the Lord has set up prophets throughout the four corners of the earth. Alright? To teach this word and bring out this truth. And now this devil is being cut. Again, he's being revealed, man. So he's finna come down with what? Great wrath, man. Revelations 12 and 12. Alright? But again, you know, as we often do. We warn our people because we was commanded to do that, man. The Lord has set up watchmen to warn you so-called black Latinos and Native Americans. So this famine of the word is really going to affect you niggas the hardest, man. All right. And when I say niggas, I'm talking about two thirds of our people, man. All right. Again, you so-called black Latinos and Native Americans. It's going to affect you the worst, man. All because you were a stiff neck people. And you didn't hearken unto the words of Yahweh Ba'ashem Yahweh Shah, man. All right. Let's get into our scriptures, man. All right. And you know what I'm starting with. Amos 8 and 11. It says, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but, but of hearing the words of the Lord. The Lord said he's going to send a famine in the land, man. All right. <laughs> not just... The famine of food and water, but the famine of the word, man. All right, meaning if you're not around a man of the Lord in these times, 
All right? Or if you ain't been gathering up as much as you can in these times, as much as you can before all hell broke loose, man, then you're basically through, man. All right? You're not gonna <laughs> you're not gonna get it, you know, at the last minute, man, because we know again, like we often mention, Jake is last minute. All right, our people is very bad with time management, man. All right, you're not going to get it. You're not going to be able to go, you know, conjure up, you know, this word, man, this truth. All right, if you're not, for one, again, if you're not around a man of the Lord, man. All right, or if you've not been hearkening. All right, and again, here's verse 12. It says, and they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even to the east. They shall, they shall run to and fro. To seek the word of the Lord and shall not find it. So they're going to be wondering all over the internet. <laughs> you see? Searching for GMS, Great Millstone. You know what the MOTB is. What's the name of the true names of the Lord. You know? They're going to be looking, man. But they shall not find it, man. Alright? They're going to be looking for the man that was out there on the street corners. That was warning them of the famine. The teeth of wild beasts. Or even this devil coming down with great wrath. All right. They're going to be looking for those men, man. All right. They're going to be going to the camp spots. You see. They're going to be doing all these things, man. But they're not going to find it. All right. Again, that's why it says a famine of the word. All right. Only those who, you know, who's going to be delivered under those, uh, those men. The man who the Lord has set up. You know, basically his prophets, man. All right, his servants. All right, those are the ones who who's gonna have that word still, man. All right, <laughs> you see, because they the scriptures tell you about um, you know, it be friends, family, and friends of the prophets. Rough and paraphrasing, you know, some of them are gonna be saved, man. All right, because ultimately in that time when they see them the miracles pop off, they ain't gonna have no other choice but to believe, man. But see, everybody ain't going to be able to get to see that. You see? Because they were so stiff-necked and they ain't harking. And they go, went after the, the lust of their hearts, man. All right? Moving on. Let's see what I have next. Okay. Ezekiel 3. 3 and 24. <laughs> and you know what? Matter of fact... Uh, we can get the point. Okay. Ezekiel 3 and 24. It says, Then the Spirit entered into me and set me upon my feet and spake with me and said unto me, Go shut thyself within thy house, but thou, O son of man, behold, they shall put bands upon thee and shall bind thee with them, and thou shalt not go out among them. All right. You see, that's, that's that, the prophets being put up. All right. Continue. It says, and I will make thy tongue cleave to the roof of thy mouth, and thou shalt be dumb, and shall not be to, to them a reprover, for they are rebellious house. But when I speak with thee, I will open thy mouth, and thou shalt say unto them, Thus said the Lord Yahweh, He that hear, let him hear, and he that forbear, let him forbear, for they are a rebellious house. And that's, hey, that's the spirit, man. All right? <laughs> you see? The Lord is going to shut his prophets up in that day, man. All right? And when we do speak, hey, you had a chance, man. All right? Brother's going to be like, hey, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> you see? You know, you're going to have a nigga coming up. Hey, when well, you one of them, you know, them Hebrew Israelites <laughs> that was on a street corner. But brother's going to be what? They're going to act dumb, man. All right? Or they may see you to Jeremiah, what, 15? <laughs> Verse 3, you pick one. <laughs> you see? That's what's going to play out in the planet Earth, man. All right? And it's up ahead, that famine of the word, man. All right? So, again, those of you that didn't listen, that didn't hearken to the prophets, that slapped the hand away, or that turned your shoulder, all right? Even when the Lord, because ultimately it was the Lord, man. He was giving mercy. Like, he's still giving mercy now, man. But you got a lot of stiff neck. You know what I mean? Niggas out there that don't want to listen, man. That don't want to hearken unto the word, man. All right? And that's on you. Because all we can say is what? We told you so, man. Matter of fact, let's jump up. Let's get on. Uh, uh, let's start at verse 17. It says, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. 
Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning for me. Again, the Lord has set up man, you know, who was commanded throughout the four corners of the earth to give you warning from him, man. All right. When I say unto you, to the wicked, thou shalt surely die. And thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die his iniquity, but his blood will I require thy hand. So therefore, we wasn't to warn you as we was commanded to do so. Your blood is going to be at our hands, man. All right. We're going to have that blood upon our own hands, man. All right. Continue verse 19. Yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not. From his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to wipe our hands away, man. All right? <laughs> Again, verse 20. When a righteous man do turn from his righteousness and commit iniquity, and I lay a stumbling block before him, he shall die. Because thou hast not given him warning, he shall die in his sin, and his righteousness. Which he hath done shall not be remembered, but his blood will I require at thy hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin not, and he doeth not sin, he surely live because he is warned also that he, thou hast delivered thy soul. So again, that's what we're set here to do. All right, to warn you, to let you know not to do this. All right, showing you the ways of Yahweh Shachabashiyah, man. All right, that's what we was sent to do. That's what we was commanded to do. But again, if you ain't listening, man, we can't do nothing but wipe our hands off with that because we told you so, man. All right, it was unto you. It wasn't for you to get it. All right, and that's the thing you got to feel about your how about Shem Yahweh man, because you're supposed to hope that it's for you to get it, man. All right, see, when the, the Lord got his prophets out there, man, that's ultimately mercy, man, because the Lord don't have to do that. But the fact he had one of his prophets dealing with you constantly, man. All right. Dealing with you people, you so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Week in and week out. All right. Start with our head elders and apostles, which have been out there for, what, 35 plus years. All right. On down as well as the light behind the brothers that teach the same doctrine. When he have us out there dealing with you people, man, in the elements, the cold, the hot, wherever it is, the rain. No matter what the weather is, constantly, that is mercy, man. That is mercy unto you people, man. But you have stiff necks, all right? You have stiff necks. And now is the time where the Lord is about to put his prophets up, man. And you people are going to be left out there, man. All right? With no cover. All because you didn't hearken unto the sound of the trumpet. All right? Moving on. Jeremiah. What I want, Jeremiah 4 and 22, 4 and 21. It says, how long shall I see the standard and hear the sound of the trumpet? And that's to you, Jakes, man. How long, man? How long should the trumpet be blowing? How long should the fire alarm be going off until you get your ass up, man? Continue. It says, for my people is foolish. They have not known me. And that's the thing about Jake. You don't know your how about Shem Yahweh Shah. <laughs> what what did they say? You don't know baby D. <laughs> you don't know baby D. <laughs> but that's you people, man. Alright? You don't know your how about Shim Yahweh Shah, man. Alright? Continue. It says they are sodish children, which is stupid. And they have no understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good, they have no knowledge. And that's even going off on doctrine, man. Because when you're going off on a doctrine, you're serving other gods. That's wise to do fucking evil, man. All right, here it is. You got the prophets among you trying to set you straight, let you know which way to go. But you turn the show and you, nah, I'm going to go my way. Man, honestly, man, hey, it's a lock but fuck you people, man. Honestly, man, that's how I feel about Jake, man. All right, because we're so close, man. We too close to be playing around with a nigga, man. All right? <laughs> you know, excuse my Swahili. But yeah, that, that's just honestly how I feel about you niggas, man. You know? <laughs> as well as you rebellious ass women, because you women, you don't hey, you don't get loose either, man. Alright? You're tied to this world too. You've been warned as well, man. Alright? 
But you people are, are, are so foolish, you want to go after the lust of your heart. So you got to be judged for that, right? All right? Let's get ready to close out. Ezekiel 30. Now, I'm going to get this one. I'm going to read it in the KJV. Then I'm going to read it in the NLT for better understanding. Ezekiel 33 and start at verse 30. It says, also, thy son of man, the children of thy people still are talking against thee by the walls and in the doors of the houses and speak one to another. Everyone to his brother say, come, I pray you and hear what is the word, word that cometh from the Lord. And they come unto thee as people coming and they sit before thee as my people and they hear thy words, but they will not do them. And that's what Jake is, man. All right, they, they, they'll be in the house and shit, you know, talking amongst each other. You know, you heard what Woo 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 said, you know, it sound good. Know what I mean? You know, he's so, he's so smart. You know, he, he, you know, he be in that Bible. He know his, he know his scriptures, you know. <laughs> and then they come to hear you. You know, you even hear Jake out there to come out, you know, at camps and shit. You know, they like to hear it, you know, because it sound good. <laughs> you see, continue. It says, I'm going to start verse, at, at, um, verse 31 at the top. It says, and they come unto thee as people coming, and they sit before thee as my people. And they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covenants. All right? With their mouth they show much love. Y'all brothers doing a good job. Y'all keep doing that, man. Y'all keep doing the people, which we, you know, we take it as your how about should be our shot, man. All right, uplift the message. But as Jake as himself, you know, they, they, you know, they cheer you on. Y'all keep doing that. You know what I mean? They keep, they, you know, but then they don't do these things. They hit his word, but they don't do it. They go on one end after other, man. Y'all look so good up there. My black man. <laughs> you know, continue. It says, and lo, Thou art unto them as a very lovely song of one that hath a pleasant voice and can play well on an instrument, for they hear thy words, but they do them not. Yeah, they, they, they hear these words of wisdom, you know, because they sound good. You know, you got the brothers got the spirit of Yahweh shout on them. You know, they marvel at these words, you know, just like they did, you know what I mean, in the ancient times, man, with Yahweh shout. They marvel at these words that brothers speak. You know, because it's wisdom that they never heard, man. All right? But then what? They 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 do them not. They don't do these. They don't do these things that brothers are warning them from, man. All right? They just listen again. It, it, it sounds good, man. You see? <laughs> what 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 um Elder Paul, he often bring out scripture and revelation, how the word is um, uh, you know, in your mouth is as sweet as honey. You know, but when it gets to your belly. Belly is bitter. You know that that's that's what this you know that's what this word is, man. That's what Jake like. Oh, uh, uh. You know what I mean? <laughs> I don't know about that now. <laughs> you see, that's Jake. That's our people, bro. All right, continue. And when this coming to pass, lo, it will come. Then shall they know that a prophet had been among them. And you got to know that a prophet had been among you when brothers was up there warning you of the famine, the teeth of wild beasts, man. All right, Esau, Edom coming down with a sword. Hell, the blackouts, man. You see? Shit is going to get worse out here, man. All right? Now, let's get this in the NLT. All right? Here it is, Ezekiel 33 and verse 30. It says, Son of man, your people talk about you in their houses and whisper about you at the doors. They say to each other, come on, let's go hear the prophet tell us what the Lord is saying. All right? That's what they do again. They come, you know, up. Want to hear the words of the Lord? It says, so my people come pretending to be sincere and <laughs> sit before you. And that's why you got to prove a friend, man. All right? Because you can be sincere, but you can be sincerely lost too, man. All right? It says, they, look, they listen to your words, but they have no intention of doing what you say. And yeah, that's what a lot of our people, you know, a nigga may be sincere, but again, he can be sincerely lost. He don't want to. Do what you say. He really feel like this is right. You know, this is the way. You know, I'm sorry, brother. But I just I, I just got to go with this way. Yeah, man. All right. You keep. You go ahead. You go ahead. 
You know, again, we can dust our hands off. You see, continue. It says, they listen to your words, but they have no intention of doing what you say. Their mouth are full of lustful words, and their hearts seek only after money. And that is Jake. That is Jake. You so-called black Latinos and Native Americans. Get the bag. That's the motto, man. All right? It says, you are very entertaining to them, like someone who sings love songs with a beautiful voice or plays fine music on an instrument. They hear what you say, but they don't act on it. But when all these terrible things happen to them, as they certainly will, it says, as they certainly will, <laughs> then they will know a prophet has been among them, man. All right? And Lord willing, man, this was edifying. We're going to end it off by giving our praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, by Hashem, and Kakadash, the one to the head elders and apostles, a great millstone from Rumor and Tishwell. Also, want to give a shout out there to the whole Felek. To you, I keep a few aqua sports to say that it's true, as well as believers of this work, but not just believers, but dudes as well. And again, to you, I'd like to say shallow one.